Hello lovelies, I'm C and welcome back to another episode of Wednesday. And um, I'm not really sure what to expect besides this mystery to unfold a little bit more. So let's just get straight into episode two. This story is about to take a dark turn. I could have sworn we were already at a dark turn. <laughs> Usually I love dark turns. Like when the carousel breaks mysteriously failed at my eighth birthday party. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Not this one. I've been searching for hours, Sheriff. The dogs need a break. You think we missed something? I say we double back, sweep Collet Creek, and then call it a night. What the hell? What what else happened? How could you miss a dead body? Because it wasn't there. No footprints, no blood, no sign of a struggle. Oh. Nothing, nada. My search party looked all nice. So what's his name wasn't actually still there. Why is everything so Somebody damn ominous? Murder. That's the only reason to scrub the crime scene. Is that your professional opinion as the daughter of a murderer? Okay, come on, man. Come on. And the only thing he murders is the occasional opera in the shower. Adam, it's been a long night and I'm tired of your games. I'm not playing games. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, because I was like, wait, am I just remembering the last episode wrong, or... Why is that? Because you and I both know that there's a monster out there. And Rowan is his latest victim. Sheriff, what? You're gonna want to see this. Wait, what? Um... Edgar Allan Poe said, Believe nothing you hear and half of what you see. Clearly, Nevermore's most famous alumni picked that what? up. What? No wonder he became a drug addled man. How is he still alive? Okay. <laughs> Let's add this to the list. Wednesday, part of the reason your parents sent you to Nevermore is so that you could find your people, become part of a larger community. I like being an island. Okay. Well, fortified ones surrounded by sharks. Have you considered that <laughs> fancies might be motivated by fear of rejection? If you were to reject me, <sighs> you would not be upset. God. You can't get rid of me that easily. Why do I love Wednesday? I'm almost idolizing her. You made it through an entire session without trying to escape. I'll take that as a win. I mean, I guess nobody here really knows her, but from the few um, days she's been there, she hasn't been a liar. So I don't know why people are thinking or assuming she's lying. Me too. So is this guy supposed to be the wolf thing that's tearing everything apart? Because it's like the other love interest seems way too obvious. I wasn't sure what happened, and then I heard kind of crazy. Because he was also there the night of the the carnival thing. Trying to get in touch with my inner rebel. You know, for the record, I believe you. That's how you try to become a love interest. You side with them <laughs> early on when nobody else is on their side. I'm afraid he's been expelled. What? For what? Never you mind. He'll be on the first train out this afternoon. What is happening right now? What's with him in the first place? I told you already. I heard a noise and I went to investigate. So. That excuse might implicate. Is somebody like a shapeshifter and pretended to be Rowan? You had a psychic vision, didn't you? How did you know about this? I realized you might be having them when we passed by the accident and you knew that poor farmer had broken his neck. Your mother started having visions around your age. Oh. They were notoriously unreliable and dangerous. I remember at first, she thought she might be losing her mind. Have you spoken to her about them? I don't know why, but I'm getting a, an iffy vibe about Gwendolyn's character here. Said you'd be stopping by, but to be honest, after your performance at the Harvest Festival, the drama club might be more your speed. After I passed out, who did you tell? The sheriff? You think I trust normie cops? I went straight to Weems and let her handle it. I knew it. Anyway, Something's up. Let's get this audition over with. Uh, what are you? Alto, soprano, or just loco? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lame joke. sound travel so far what was that i know only dogs can hear oh my god <laughs> why is she the best character are you interested in me 
Asian art of beekeeping? <laughs> Eugene. Eugene Ottinger, founder and president of the Nevermore Hummers. Wednesday. Wednesday Adams. Am I late or is it only you? Shouldn't she be wearing covering? The hive life isn't for everyone. Most kids are afraid of venomous insects. Are you willing to feel this sting? It sounds so weird. Bees have been producing honey in the same way for a hundred. This is her first like wardrobe this change. Is your perfect community, all working together to and she's still wearing her outfit underneath. Fun fact: It's also one of the few ecosystems in which females dominate, from the queen bee to her workers. There's no patriarchy in the hive. Damn, she left while he was talking. I'm sure, that's not the first time that's happened to him. Robin! We need to talk. Wednesday? I'm not allowed to speak to anyone. You had a lot to say the other night when you tried to kill me. You told me I was destined to destroy the school, remember? Where did you get that drawing? I just went into the woods to clear my head. Then you came after me. What? Wednesday. You shouldn't be here. Oh! Back off and leave me alone. I don't know who it is. Something's happening, though. Obviously, but like, I'm trying to figure out which which person it actually is. So it was a shapeshifter! Holy shit. So she's a shapeshifter. Oh. Manipulation of inanimate My objects? Is impressed by your tricks, Mr. Thorpe. Minute, you're a little impressed. I was a little, I was very impressed. I wasn't even a little impressed. I was really impressed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're thrilled to have you join us on our journey into the world of carnivorous plants. Now, who can tell us the name of this beauty? Wow. Dendrophylax and Denii. Yes, Wednesday. Otherwise, show known this bitch as up. The ghost orchid. First discovered on the Isle of Wight in 1854. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. You still believe there's a creature out there, don't you? I heard you and Santiago talking. Think it's a Nevermore kid? Ran into your shrink. She was kind of tight-lipped about your progress. Yeah, it's called doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm about a little father-son confidentiality. What are you two yakking about? Video games, cancel culture, oat milk versus soy. It's a wild time. I pay the bills. I got a right to ask. We talk about mom. Remember her? Damn. Maybe it's just too hard for him to talk. talk about your old man. I'll be home late. You're on your own for dinner. Oh, damn. I, I was hoping we could fire up the grill and then catch the big game. So obviously there's been some tension between them since the mom died. Not sure how she died, but definitely has caused a lot of friction in that father-son dynamic. When Rowan showed me this, it confirmed my greatest fear. That I'm going to be responsible for something terrible. Not good terrible like Ivan. Bad terrible. But maybe she gets, maybe that, that picture is like a framing because now we know that we, Weebs, I think it's Weebs, she can uh, shapeshift. So maybe she's pretending to be Wednesday. And I will end you. And I like that um, things, communication is actually like, signing. That makes so much sense. I don't know if he did that in the original. Blab and I will squeeze you like a honeycomb. Wow. Just get stung. It's hive code. Besides, Damn. I should be thanking you. This is the most girls I've ever had. <laughs> Other than these. Shocking. 
<laughs> they didn't need to add that other than B's line. Thing for werewolf chicks. The chance that Enid wow. ever becomes romantically interested in you is less than 1%. So I'm still gonna <laughs> Take the positive in it, man. Take the positive in it. You must think it's weird. I'm stalking him. Yeah. I consistently stalk my. No, nah, I think it's weird. Like, what is he doing there? Hey, wait, what really happened the other night at the festival? Look, I swear I won't say anything to my dad. So maybe he's actually the monster, but he doesn't turns know he turns into the monster. Then proceeded to use his telekinesis to try and choke me to death. So Rowan is dead. Why would he do that? No idea. That's when this monster came out of the shadows and gutted him. Whoa. Whoa, so, so you really saw it? And it didn't try to kill you? It actually saved me from Rowan. That's the part I'm trying to figure out. I came out here to find something that can prove he was murdered and that I haven't lost my mind yet. These glasses. These are Rowan's. I knew it was a cover up. Oh. So a lot happened in there. The night shades. Like the deadly flower. Color me intrigued. I was told they disbanded years ago. Any idea why? Sorry. I don't know. I don't really trust. I don't trust her. I don't trust nobody in this show. <laughs> so I guess that's nothing new. My mother is a carnivorous plant aficionado. I assume I get my red band from her. Are you and your mother close? Uh... My two inmates sentenced to life on the same cell block. The analogies that she comes up with. Up mid semester. I've been here a year and a half. And I still feel like an outsider. Is that because you're the only normie on the staff? Ina told me. Oh, so she doesn't to have truth, anything? I've never really fit in anywhere. Too odd for the normies, not odd enough for the outcasts. I thought Nevermore would be different, but there's still a handful of teachers who will barely acknowledge me. Hmm. I act as if I don't care if people dislike me. But deep down, I secretly enjoy it. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be something weird, but I really did not expect that. Cause he's one. Love both love interests are one. Purple book has got to be around here somewhere. And then uh, Christina Ritchie's character. There's there's something odd about the three of them, but I'm not sure if that like translates into them being, like you know obviously monsters <laughs> attacking people but it had to be someone close enough to wednesday that they wouldn't attack her and go after the person threatening her Rowan's full of surprises I was about to say, is it Bianca? Wow. Maybe it's because she hasn't tried to manipulate me. Oh. One mistake and you can't forgive me. Did she Did use her like power her? on him? You can't get enough. Okay, why are you so fixated on Wednesday? Because she thinks she's better than everyone else. I don't really get that vibe from her at all. Can't she's just herself. Hall tomorrow. Watch your werewolf roommate crumble. Yeah, you have problems. Time, yeah, I hate to think what you've got planned. My game's already started. I like to win. Is that so wrong? When you try to win Wonder like this. Broke up with you. Oh! Killer he was a different person. We were good together, Xavier. Were we? Is that just how you wanted me to feel? Oh, he did use her. her she did use her power on him. Trust me. Wednesday Adams is not the girl of your dreams. She's the stuff of your nightmares. Yeah, but you're definitely proving that you're also not the one he wants either. <laughs> He's eliminating people and you're already off the list. I want to humiliate 
Bianca so badly that the bitter taste of defeat burns in her throat. Yeah, but mostly you're doing it because we're friends, right? Uh, I'd say 70 get back at Bianca, 30 because you're friends. No other boat has made it across the lake and back without sinking. Sounds like sabotage. There are no rules in the Poe Cup, and she is a siren, which makes her master of the water. Oh, true. Then we just need to beat her at her own game. I am always worried because Wednesday can be pretty damn crazy when she wants. So who knows what the hell she's planning. Good. Things in position. You want to tell me what you two were up to all night? And spoil the surprise? Speaking of surprises, your costume's in the tent. Costume? Uh, what is this? No, look. Okay! Okay! okay. Yeah, don't push it. What the hell? Wow. Oh my god, this just got 20 times dangerous. One down. So their plan was just to row, stay in last place, and then have other people get dropped off. Faster. Thing. Oh shit. Oh, that sucks. A mermaid's greatest weakness, fishing nets. This isn't like her normal visions. The hell? You were the key. What? Taking a cat nap? <laughs> the hell was that about? slowly sinking I guess they can always swim oh he's back he got out what's thing gonna do oh <laughs> knocked him in his damn head <laughs> Hopefully, like, I mean, he's fine. He got out of the nets, he's fine. That sucks. That hole's even bigger than the guys. This is giving me Harry Potter vibes, like you don't like, you don't understand. It just reminds me of Harry Potter so much. But it's individual enough that it, it's not, like, it doesn't feel like a rip-off or anything like that at all. What are you doing down here? Oh, the symbol. Hiding. People or us. Is it the same nightshade smile. symbol? I'm having your moment. You took down Bianca Barclay. Try to enjoy it. The girls want to know yeah, but she's gonna come for her later, so, like... Oh. think about it wow that's definitely growth from her yes. it's good to see you fitting in just like your mother my mother and i are two entirely different people slash species slash <laughs> she's such an extra kid sometimes the last time ophelia hall won the poe cup your mother captain the team i was her co-pilot 
Maybe you two are more like than you think. I really can't get a read off of like Gwendolyn and Christie's character. Like, is she, did she hate the mother? Did she like her mother? Because it's like sometimes she talks and you can kind of sense this kind of like animosity in her. But at the same time, she doesn't come across as like trying to hurt Wednesday. So it's always like, what exactly is her motive? And that's like the common like Adam's family thing. So maybe her parents were in this um, Nightshades group. Secret societies, hidden libraries. My mother staring at me in a judgmental way. Oh shit! These are all things I've come to expect. They were in it. So this is where Rowan got the picture from. But the minute I inch towards the truth, luckily I'm not afraid of the dark. The hell? So there's an underground secret society called the Never Shades. I think that's right. And obviously, um, Wednesday's parents were in it, and she. I don't know like why her picture is in the book. If the book was in a secret society her parents were also a part of. Maybe there's some kind of correlation there. Maybe like I don't I don't know. Or maybe um Weebs, I think that's her name. I don't know. It's not Ween, it's Weebs. I think Weebs also maybe saw the picture and orchestrated it. I don't I can't get a grasp on who's actually like behind everything because I'm getting a vibe off Weebs for sure. She's definitely like hidden the whole thing with Rowan, but I don't know if it's just to protect the school or if it was also in a way to protect Wednesday because it doesn't like she's never outwardly been antagonistic to Wednesday. But I get this weird feeling that her relationship with Morticia wasn't as, like, ha happy and great as she makes it seem. Like, it's almost like they were friends, but she was in her Morticia's shadow. So I feel like there might have been something there, but I also could just be reading too much into it because, I mean, obviously I'm gonna do that. It's a mystery. <laughs> um... But I am curious to see how things progress. The whole thing with the monster, I first thought it was um, Xavier, just because he seemed like the obvious choice. And as things are progressing, I'm starting to wonder if it's not, I can't remember his name already. I'm like, I think it's Tyler. I think it's Tyler. Whether he's actually the monster, because it it would make sense too. Like, the monster's also being pursued by the sheriff, which is Tyler's dad. So if it was Tyler, it works. It also shows that he is, like, he and his friends, which I think were the ones that were picking on Wednesday, always go after Nevermore people. So it could all just also be, like, he's trying to hide what he is by going after them. And also, the monster only attacked Rowan and left Wednesday so they have to have some kind of relationship to Wednesday not to want to attack her so Tyler kind of seems like a good fit but I don't know if he actually is so I guess we'll just see but for now he's he's my main suspect but I still have um no I actually think Tyler's my main suspect yeah he's my he's my main suspect at the moment but who knows there's it's only episode two so other people can be introduced that fit the bill better, but as of now, that's kind of where I'm standing on t in terms of the monster issue, but we'll see. Um, I love seeing Bianca get her comeuppance. That was 
perfect. She deserved that. <laughs> But if you enjoyed this reaction, you do want to see more, please like and subscribe. And I will see you for episode three. Bye.